20 years after liberalization, the Indian economy has grown to become one of the largest in the world. Since the turn of this century, India has achieved a consistent 8% growth, becoming one of the most attractive business destinations. While earlier it was global corporations from Europe and the United States, today Chinese companies are coming in to do business in India. They know that with a 1.2 billion population, India is the second largest market in the world today. India's economy has been growing very fast in the past decade. Indian market quite help us to uh, expand the business uh, uh, all over the world. In one word, uh, I think the future is very bright. India is the second fastest economy in the world today and several sectors have been opened up for private enterprises to help meet the rising demands. Infrastructure is seen as a key area for achieving high growth. Given their experience on mega projects, Chinese companies have a good understanding of this business. Sani Group manufactures construction equipment. It believes that investment in infrastructure is going to increase manifold in the near future. Indu政府决定投入一万亿美元在下一个五年计划，在各个工程机械项目这个建设上面，这是一个方面。政府具有很强大的决心。第二个方面是呃，我觉得这个市场的呃发展来源于呃这个市场的本身的发展的需求。
While India had been self-sufficient in steel earlier, rapid growth in infrastructure projects has meant a huge jump in demand for steel products. The Government of India has opened up the mining and steel industry for experienced global players. Many Chinese companies have set up facilities in India to help meet this gap in supply and demand of steel. Shoshin 因此呢，作为钢铁行业的从业者之一，我们发现印度这个市场是从事钢铁行业非常不错的一个市场。因此，我们决定呃到印度进行投资，联合中国五矿集团一起到印度进行投资，从事这个钢铁行业。One of the apprehensions that global companies start with is that projects take a long time to take off in India due to communication problems and differences in work culture. Ex India face no such issues at this steel plant. Chinese personnel working with Indian technicians have been able to start production at this plant within a year sticking to their timeline. They hope that this teamwork will help the company grow in India in the coming decades. Chinese companies are finding success not just in core industries but also in new technologies. Huawei, the world leader in telecom equipment, was one of the earliest entrants into India. It has been a partner in the telecom growth, providing cutting-edge technology to mobile companies in India. Huawei's journey in India started uh, as early as in decades ago, when we established our first and the largest R&D center outside China, in Bangalore, in 1999 which currently employs more than 2,000 technical uh, professional and manager staff there. And over the years, uh, Huawei India has been developed into the second largest uh, single country operation for Huawei Global, only next to China, and with more than 6,000 employees, and 90% uh, of which are local high. With India reaching 800 million telecom subscribers, there is a huge potential in this sector. 3G and 4G services are on the anvil, and the telecom companies can see the opportunity in this market. We can see uh, in next uh, two to three years, okay, uh, the barrier network of, uh, of uh, uh, operators uh, has to be uh, improved uh, or we say uh, modernized uh, to carry more traffic just because of uh, the subscribers will uh, take more, uh, will use more, uh, more uh, traffic uh, throughput. So this could help us to uh, bring our innovative barrier network solution to the operators. Emboldened by the success of these companies, the government of China is encouraging more Chinese enterprises to come to India. For Chinese invest investors, many sectors in India, uh, such as uh, machinery and uh, electronic products manufacturing, infrastructure construction, uh, telecommunications, power and uh, water supply, uh, automobile, uh, metallurgy, pharmaceutical industry, uh, fi financial and non-financial services, so on and so forth, uh, contain very large or very huge opportunities. And coupled with uh, robust domestic demand, a growing middle class and a young population make India an attractive investment destination. The success of these enterprises in India in the last decade has shown that Chinese companies can do business here since they have experience in working in a large market like China. 
India can benefit from the experience and technological know-how that these companies bring into the country. This is a partnership whose journey has just begun. We hope this will deepen as India and China continue to increase cooperation in the coming decade.